Good evening Hackology and welcome to a long awaited video from us. Uh, I'd like to say um, happy birthday to Hackology, one year old today. Thanks to you guys um, because if you weren't supporting me as much as what you were I wouldn't be doing this video now. Um, also my apologies for not having done some videos recently because I've been rather busy with some other stuff but um, I've got some really cool projects. We're going to be looking at web automation we might be looking at databases, we're definitely going to be looking at Arduinos, we're going to be looking at assembly code, we're going to look at how, um, we're going to look at loads of stuff. I'm not going to make any more promises, but those are definite. Right, um, this episode, I thought I'd introduce you to the Arduino, and um, basically over the next few videos that I managed to put together, I'm going to be teaching you <clears throat> um, how to use your Arduino and get it set up. I'm going to um, give you some basics of what the board does and how to make it do some cool stuff. I'm going to keep this really short um, because then we're going to move on to something a bit more advanced, um, onto multiplexing and uh, some other cool bits and bobs. So let's get on with the episode and uh, we'll see how this goes. Okay, so what I've got here is um, an Arduino, and the model of this one is the Dumile Nove. Um, basically, Arduinos come in different flavours. You get different size boards with different profiles, um, more or less features. Uh, depending on what project you're going to be doing, depends on what Arduino you'll buy, but this is a good intermediate board. Um, so you've got your power pins, your analog in, your um, digital um, pins, which are written on off or PWM which you can write values to and you've got USB to send the code and 9 volt battery with a, a reinitialize button there to reset the chip if you need to rerun the code and there are also some jumpers on here they may be for expanding the board but um, as I haven't needed to at the moment um, I haven't done any reading up on those so um, I'll be able to tell you um, at some other point <laughs> basics tonight. I'm just going to show you how to wire up an LED onto your Arduino and this is important you understand how to turn the pins on and off when we come to multiplexing because it gets a little bit mind-boggling and um, let's get started and just show you how to upload the code. Okay so just quickly I've decided I'm not going to go over the driver installation as each uh, one of you is going to have a set, different setup and install. Go to arduino.cc um, read what you need to do to install the drivers, download the development software and then uh, let's get started and I'll show you exactly how to upload your code and um, we'll get your first program running on the Arduino. Right. Okay, so once you've configured your Arduino um, and you've installed the drivers and got the development environment open, go to File, Examples and open the basics one, the one called Blink and what you'll need is an LED and you just put that in between pin um, the ground pin and pin 13 the long leg is the negative pin and the um, short leg is the positive pin and if you look at the LED I always remember the one that looks like a golf flag being the positive one so I did get that mixed up it's the long one that's the um, it's the long one that's the positive one Okay, so let's load up Blink. And let's upload it to the Arduino. When you first set your Arduino up, you need to go to Tools and choose the COM port that the Arduino is running on. It's running on COM port 3 on my machine, but you'll need to select the appropriate one for yours. Okay. So basically what we've got now is just the LED flashing on and off and that's your first bit of code uploaded to the Arduino. Okay, so let's have a little look at the code. Void setup. Uh, void setup is where you initialize each one of the pins and tell the Arduino which one of, what, what each one of the pins is going to be 
um, doing depending on which pin you're using. Void loop is um, the loop that runs as the Arduino runs and um, basically what we're doing here digital write 13 high is turning pin 13 high so we're basically turning on pin 13 uh, then the Arduino sleeps for a second and turns it off and then there's another delay for another second before it turns it back on and uh, if we didn't have the delay after the low uh, it would just like the, look like the light was turned on all the time if we didn't have the delay before the low it would look like the light was turned off all the time um, basically because it, the Arduino would switch it so quick we wouldn't be able to see it with our eyes okay so now what I'm going to do is load the code up on the Arduino that I've been working on for the past few days and uh, show you exactly what we're aiming to get to um, after a few lessons with the Arduino Okay, so what I've got here is a, um, a prototype shield, which is a small board that plugs into the Arduino. Um, seven segment, four digit LED display, um, a breadboard, and down the side here we have four transistors. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but this is multiplexing, uh, which is basically turning LEDs on and off really quick but we'll get more into that in some future episodes um, for the moment uh, go and have fun with your Arduino if you haven't got one get one <laughs> um, so anyway I hope you've enjoyed this episode once again big shout out to all the viewers um, I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you um, happy birthday Hackology you're rock and have fun hacking <laughs>